Hey everyone, this is Cindy and I made this journal last year. It got mixed up in all my supplies and I forgot about it until I was packing it up. So I just saved it for this year because it wasn't finished. I didn't have the cover on it and a few little things on the inside. But anyway, um, let's take a look at it. It is uh, made from a book and that's the original book cover. So definitely Christmas themed, right? I collaged a bunch of stuff on the front. This is corrugated cardboard with napkin. Um, a die cut with this sparkle paper. I made a yo-yo and then this is a little lace medallion cut from a skirt or something like this one. And this was a set of like, label things that I bought somewhere last year and it has the wire wrapped around it. So they're pretty cool. But it's either Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Okay. Um, it measures five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. It has a two and a two and a quarter inch spine fabric covered. Okay, hair tie and post closure, which of course I always say can be expanded because you can add another hair tie and it can just get as thick as it needs to be. It's pretty chunky as it is. I think I made this as a stash buster uh, last year and um, I, I don't think I made a dent in my stash, but anyway, it's pretty chunked full, so we'll see. I have a scared dog sitting in the chair with me, so. I have two people here in the music studio with my husband, so he's extra scared. But anyway, this is a fabric medallion or whatever you want to call it, patch, whatever, made out of three layers of fabric that I've stitched around just quick. Uh, slow stitched, even though I did it quickly. So whatever that makes it. <laughs> this pocket's made out of a business envelope, and I just did some collage on it. We have a little um, booklet made out of playing cards hinged together with some fabric and then some, you know, blank paper so you write on it and then just decorate it on the front. Each signature, and there's three, has um, scrapbook paper as the cover of the stitch, I mean, the, <laughs> of the signature. I've done this. This is the third start on this video. Anyway, this first pocket here is a actually a bag. I got it at Dollar Tree last year. And the, it has some cute little Christmas stamps, which I've cut some of these out. And you'll see them decorating, like right here. Um, so anyway, decorated with some uh, layers there. And then um, journal card is just layered uh, scrapbook paper on to a book page. And then some writing paper on the back and stitched around it. And this uh, stocking was cut from some um, wrapping paper. All right, this is a copy of an old music book I have. You used to get them in the mail Christmas. Some company would send them out. So I just made a copy because I didn't want to get rid of the original. It's at least probably 50 years old. So anyway, a paper clip made of a, Christ of a Christmas tree. This is a die I have that cuts this. I don't know if they consider it a bag or, an, uh, um, or it wouldn't be an envelope, sack, bag, whatever. And I just collaged on it and then it's got a sticker of a bow there. This is just a little tag. You can barely see that it's a tag there. And it is um, cardstock with napkin on it. I think Robin, actually it's tissue. Robin got me those. Okay, this is cut from a um, sewing pattern for like these Christmas uh, pageant costumes. And I made it into a tuck and this is just one I got from Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Either one, you'll see quite a bit of these. I call them ready-made tags. It's for the two froms, but they're perfect for uh, these Christmas journals. And here's another one flying at me. Okay, this is a pocket I made last year when I did that 3 and 15 um, challenge. And I can't, I've been trying to think who did it. And she's doing something like it this year too, but I can't remember what it is. But maybe you guys know. Another um, journaling card that's collaged. And then it's got just different uh, elements on here. And there's another one of those faux stamps I cut from that uh, Christmas bag. And that is a pocket. And this, I think, was supposed to go here. Because I put it on as a side pocket, too. And this, I know I got at Dollar Tree this year. So, and it's just decorated with different collage work. I love those two froms. I wish I had more. It looks like the candy cane around it. Fabric tabs. There's a variety of tabs here, I think. We'll see what they are. And this is some, uh, from a music book I got, I'm sure, you know, thrift store. That's of Christmas music. This is a Christmas doily. This is um, stationery. This is a bag just like that first one. I got both of them at Dollar Tree. This one I copy dyed and made it into a page. This is, uh, I had a little book that had Christmas recipes in it and this is one of them. So, Jolly Gingerbread Man. Some more stationery. It says Christmas and all the world is beautiful. This is scrapbook paper and on this side of it is a business envelope. I've collaged around and there's the, the 
pocket, I I guess. This is a weird one. Yeah, that's one. It just looked different, that plastic did. And then this, I guess I guess this is the flat because I've collaged it and then I have another one of these uh, dollar, tr uh, dollar store tags there. Scrapbook paper is made into a big journaling card. See, when you make something a year ago, you kind of forget what you did, so. Anyway, here's some more stationary paper that's been coffee dyed. This is cut from a Christmas book and some more Christmas music and a Christmas card, which is the center of the signature and I glued it to be a pocket, but yet I didn't put anything in it. But I have a bunch of cards here that's too thin. Um, waiting for me to, here we go. We'll put the poinsettias in there. Just so to let you know that there's something in that um, pocket. Okay, so second, I mean the back side of the signature, so it's gonna be the same pages. Here is a collaged uh, tuck spot with diff different collage papers. I had a package of paper ornaments, and I, that's one of them. I just popped it out and glued it on the front. And we have a tag, different elements collaged on it, including some wallpaper right there. I don't know where I got these um, images, and they're like on th real thin chipboard, so I'm not sure where I got them. There's another one coming up, I think, so yeah, no? Yeah, right here, the holly leaves. I'm not sure, someone might know. Um, this is another one of those pockets from the challenge, just scrapbook paper. This is like a little fabric and lace cluster. And a an, um, recipe card I got years ago from Dollar General, and it's got Christmas pictures on it. We're gonna put it behind the tuck, and this is another two from type thing. Gift tag, put in there, it could be a journaling card. This is that stationary, the other side. The other side of the recipe and the other side of that card, I mean a bag, which this time I've got a, a pocket on there. And it is a um, business card pocket collage. And then I've got this on there as a tuck. And inside the this envelope is this express mail that I got this Goodwill or Sa uh, Salvation Army several years ago. It's a really cute envelope and it's a... Uh, holiday wish letter from this famous animal and um it'll be fun to journal on that now i just put it in this pocket so we can have that show through and um i glued this pocket on as a side tuck as well and just different collaged elements and then in this little tuck i have um tall skinny journaling card made out of some cardboard, a chipboard, and then another uh, two from tag. You'll see a variety of those throughout all my Christmas journals because every time I see some, I grab them because they make great um, tags for these journals. And here's a couple more, or three more. Another one of those pockets from the three and 15, um, three, don't freak out before Christmas challenges, just scrapbook papers. And we have pocket there. And we had, I had this sparkly one in there. Oh, that's a cool one. And then these two in this little tuck here. And that's the end of the first signature. Second signature. And I got these uh, papers at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still have them or not. Another one of the Don't Freak Out Before Christmas challenge, um, pocket challenges. And it's got three pockets. And we have three journaling cards to go in them. And the tops of these is a punch I have that makes like a... A label for something and I just folded it over to decorate the top tops of the sterling cards same same some of the same papers as in the first um, signature yeah another one of those um, challenge pockets is like a big tag with tuck spots and in the it's put on as a side pocket so there's um, that and it's just um, craft paper with scrapbook paper on it and a circle punch that I've made two of them and then just put them on back to back as a tag. Um, this is I think a Kleenex box actually and another playing card that's got writing space on the back that's been stitched around. Um, this is a book page obviously and it's got this snowman that's a napkin put on there. It's got writing paper on the back. That's a fun pocket. This is scrapbook paper, another um, recipe, perfect pecan pie, more music. 
and another one of the challenge pockets and this one's kind of cool it's got these three little pockets you can see them better that way they're um, made the same way and just three different sizes and they're glued on there and then we have the scrapbook paper tags that go in hopefully they go in <laughs> i have to see it there we go got all that straightened out okay maybe this one i think it has a gusset and it kind of catches Come on. Don't know if it's necessary for that gusset. Good grief. <laughs> yeah, these will be definitely secret writings because once they're in there, no one will be able to get them out and read them. Okay, got that one the first time. All right, ha, huh. made it through that. Okay, book page from a, a Christmas book. And um, that's that um, stationary page. This is, um, I have a bunch of old music. P um, I don't know what you call them. Sheet music. That's it. And this one was on Christmas. And I had it scanned. And then I just printed it. I think it shrunk it down a little bit smaller. And on this side, I have another 3 and 15 pockets. And let's see. It's just put... Two pockets are put on this craft paper. And I stuck a felt Santa on there. He's just from probably Dollar General. And these are little writing uh, spots that are made to look like an envelope it's just folded that way so you get all this place to write and it's kind of like letters to santa i think is what she said she was going to call it and then this is just uh, some more uh, coffee dyed paper folded in here okay now we've seen all these things before here is the center of the signature and it's another pocket which i don't have anything in and i think i did poinsettia last time Let's see what I can find in a hurry here. This is pretty. This is napkin with two little um, punch uh, die cuts of snowflakes. And I can see the music there and then there's writing space on the back. So we'll put this in. Let's see if it'll stick out a little bit. Maybe too much. Yeah, it's really, really too long. Sorry about that pocket. Let's find something else. Um, how about this? Um, collage journaling spot. Is it a booklet? No. Nope. Writing space on the back, and I just had this image, and I bet it's going to be too big. Is it going to fit? Oh dear. Maybe it'll go this way. <laughs> Sticking out again, isn't it? Yes, too much. Okay. We may be stopped in the middle of the street here. Aha, this will work. It's, it's a file folder. I'm not sure where I got it or who made it. I guess I did. But it's cute, whatever it is, and it sticks out perfect. Okay, yay. All right, continuing. Music paper, doily, stationary paper, a little fabric flip just made out of some Christmassy fabrics. Um, stationary, a uh, collaging spot. Not, yeah, it's a collage spot, but it's a writing spot. So I have this paper is a, a cupcake holder I just ironed flat, and then this, oh, it's a tuck. Aha. Uh -huh. So. We can put, where's that one I said was too big? I've already put it away. Um, and we'll just do this one, let it snow. I think I have another one of those in here, though. Here, we don't have this one, I don't think. Okay, yeah. So anyway, you can write here. Uh, this is just some blank paper I stitched around. This is uh, gre greeting paper put on some um, cardstock, and I cut it out with my 3-inch punch that's got the scallops. And we're putting that little journal tag there. Flip the page, there's music, another recipe. This is a tuck I made out of book page uh, banner, and I put it on there with another uh, Christmas paper clip. This one's been covered with um, um, napkin, and then we'll put this Christmas story, it's like a little trivia question. We'll put that in there, that'll be fun. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm making a list, I just glued that on there. And then we're to the third signature. Scrapbook paper again. Um, a pocket that's just different little elements. These are cut from packaging and just collaged on there. And then this was, I found it in my stash. It's a felt um, stocking. And it feels like it might either be a sticker or they just stuck that paper on there so you can write. So I'm not sure. So we just put it in there. It could be a journaling card. And index card with just some lace and ribbon on there. Uh, a bag collaged, a 
brown paper bag collage with napkin in this image. And the journaling card is a whole bunch of different uh, papers collage. Another um, pattern, uh, sewing pattern picture. And I'm gonna put a tab on there. And we have a, a tool bow on there. More music paper. This was the original one, I think. Original page. Um, this is from the other side of the recipe book. Let's see, you write your own. And then here's another one. This from the Christmas book. This is a side tuck just made out of scraps. It's like from a master board. Put this picture on there. I've got a yo-yo. And this uh, journaling card, Let It Snow, is cut from a book where they were showing you how to make these cards. And I just cut out the... Um, finished project, picture of the finished project, and put some writing paper on the back, and it makes a great journaling card. And we have that stationery. We have a little tuck here. This is cut from, I, I think I said it was a Kleenex box, but I think it was a gift box. You know, you get those uh, shirt size gift box. And this is just a little uh, stitch collage of fabrics. And here's another one of these two from cards. And this is, um, I think they're nameplates. So you put it down, write down who's going to sit where. We're going to make it into a journaling card or journaling booklet. Here's a Christmas card. We're in the center of the signature. Uh-oh, here we go again, trying to find something to go in here. Ta-da! Okay, this will go in there this time because it's wider. Yes, and it won't stick out too far. Okay. Yay. Stationary paper, music paper. I'm taking forever on this book. It's got a lot in it. Oh my goodness. This is a glassine bag. I've collaged all sorts of stuff on the front. And same thing with the tag. It's got napkins on there and a fabric uh, snippet at the top. And I know this fit in there. There we go. Okay. There's another notepad page I put in there. It's got all the Christmas greenery at the bottom. And this is another, um, it's a flip, but it's a um, slow stitch patch. Okay, another um, Don't Forget Before Christmas challenge. And this is just one of those little pockets. Uh, earlier we had two. I think it actually had three on it, three of these pockets. And it was too wide, tall, so I cut uh, one off and uh, made a little pocket here. And there's another one of those little envelopes. And behind it is... In there. Playing card with journaling space stitched on there. Okay, on this side we have a burlap um, piece of thing, a piece of burlap that says ho ho ho. I put it on some paper to sturdy it up. I know, I think I got this a couple of years ago for Christmas. It had soap wrapped around. It was wrapped around some soap. A Christmas story, uh, just a little um, card from that, and you can journal around that picture if you want. I think it was a game, Christmas story game I had. Okay, we're at the end, and in this last pocket, it is a bag. I'm trying, I was trying to get the snowman off. It's another bag, and inside of it is this long journal card. It's got those snowflakes on it and napkin. And uh, the bottom is folded up to be a pocket or tuck, and I just have um, fabric claws there. And this is um, a tag cut from that gift box. So Okay, so anyway, there is that journal. And it's going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. And it should be there now. And if you are interested, just go on over. And I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you guys watching. Bye.